Are you single? Are you having problems with lust? Okay. Why would you look at certain things on TV? Why would you look at, let's say you want to be married. Let's say you are single. Why would you look at on TV, two people kissing and touching and even if it is not very pornographic, why would you look at it if you have problems with lust? Let's say you are praying to God for a husband or a wife. Let's say you are trying to be patient, but at the same time, if this applies to you, you are torturing, torturing yourself. By watching people holding each other, kissing each other, doing stuff like that with each other, and you are sitting there maybe crying and desiring for that to be in your life to where it may make it even more harder for you to wait for a man or a woman, wife or husband, I should say. You may believe watching those things make it easier on you to wait on a spouse. Myself, I used to watch you know, really romantic stuff, you know, like I love you and, you know, you are the only one I want, stuff like that. And if I remember correctly, I believe it made me desire a woman more. Not only that, but the sexual part as well. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? But now that I don't watch that stuff, yes, I still get attacked by certain stuff, but I don't think it is the same now that I don't watch that romantic kissing and hugging and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I went over someone's house. And if I remember correctly, I think someone had a TV show on with a woman or a man kissing. And when I saw it, if I am saying this right, I believe that did something to me like a inward reaction. And you may say, Kevin, you know, kissing is not a big deal. I am trying to tell you, I believe some type of inward reaction happened to me to where I covered my eyes. You know, you may say I am a big kid or whatever else. I covered my eyes and then I believe I walked to a different room. We have to protect ourselves. We have to be careful in what we look and listen to. 
You may want a wife. You may want a husband. But don't watch anything or listen to anything that may influence you to sin. Outwardly, I guess, you know, you may believe it is acceptable to watch people kiss and touch and stuff like that. But if it is causing you or influencing you to do what is wrong, shut it off. I don't watch romantic stuff like that. Kevin, I want to be a romantic person. This is why I am watching that stuff. No. Some people may say, well, Kevin, when I get married, I believe there is a book and I am not trying to be graphic or nasty or anything like that. I believe there is a book that um, views or teaches sexual positions. Now, a person may say, Kevin, I plan on getting married and I want to please my spouse. So let me look at that Karma Sutra book. Let me look at some pornography so I can please my spouse. No. If anything, I am not trying to be nasty. If you want to please your spouse or your future spouse, but really you should not be speaking to a person like that unless you are married to them, ask them what they want, like how they want to, you know, stuff like that. But don't do, don't dig in the trash. How can I say this? Don't do anything wrong and believe it is for a good cause. Be careful of what you look and listen to. There is something I used to like watching. I used to really like watching anime so much. But if you watch anime, I think much anime is filled with demonic, witchcraft, evil stuff. You know, with me, I am not into witchcraft and all that mess there. I would pretty much primarily watch anime for entertainment. But... How can you separate entertainment from what they are viewing? You may be getting entertained, but you also are, I believe, getting the witchcraft, getting the sexual stuff, getting whatever else it is viewing. So, I don't watch any anime anymore, and it was very, very hard. So much demonic stuff in anime. We have to be careful in what we look at and listen to. Now, there may be some anime that may not be demonic, which I'm not sure. But I think there is so much sexual stuff in anime. So I hope this really makes sense. So let me stop here. God bless you.